tougher as he fights Abel Trujillo. After one of the most spectacular UFC debuts of 2012, Abel Trujillo is back tonight in an effort to keep his name on the top of fight fans' best prospects list. In his last fight, Trujillo dominated Marcus Levesseur in route to a second round TKO, but he will be meeting a fellow rising star in Habib Nurmagomedov, setting up what should be an epic showdown. 3-0 thus far in the UFC, Nurmagomedov has already defeated Kamal Shalarus, Clayson Tebow, and Tiago Tavares in the octagon. Coming up next, Abel Killa Trujillo squares off with Habib, the Eagle Nurmagomedov. You are watching the UFC on FX. Tale of the tape for this lightweight fight is sponsored by Bud Light. Here we go. Nurmago Medoff is 24 years old. Abel Trujillo, 29. Nurmago Medoff, two inches taller. The reach is identical. See, Nurmago Medoff did miss weight with the introductions. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live from Las Vegas for UFC 160. And now, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record. Ten wins, four losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Boca Raton, Florida, Abel Killa Trujillo. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a big martial artist with a perfect professional record, 19 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 158 and 1 half pounds. Fighting out of San Jose, California, by way of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov! And where the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki will be our referee for this lightweight battle. 158.5, the weight from Nurmagomedov. Medoff. The fight will go on. And there you go. Fight strong, you ready? At the official weigh-ins. A lot go, of bad blood between these two men. Black trunks for Trujillo, blue trunks for Nurmagomedov. Well, Trujillo put his forehead on the forehead of Nurmagomedov, and Nurmagomedov pushed him off. And it was a, there was a lot of tension. And these guys just can't wait to get at it. A bit of a feeling out process here. Trying to gauge the timing, seeing which guy will launch first. Nurmagomedov, a very impressive 19 and 0. He just got out of the way there. And that's what we were talking about before the fight. That's the, uh, the ability to close the distance that Trujillo has. He can stand on the outside and get to you faster than you can get to him. When he first went to South Florida and trained with the Black Zillions, he really was brought in to be a training partner, Joe. The next thing he knew, everybody was saying, hey, kid, you got some talent. They turned him into a fighter, and a good one indeed. Very fast, very explosive, and very physically strong. Got outstanding wrestling skills, too. Look at the way he closes the distance there, and that's with punches. No Magomedov, though, is an absolutely ferocious guy. Four-time NAIA All-American in collegiate wrestling. You saw the takedown by Trujillo there. Nurmagomedov trying to lock the right arm down of Abel Trujillo. And he's holding that. Trujillo's in a lot of trouble here. He's got an arm here, Mike. Trujillo's in a lot of trouble here. He's going to spin him over, full arm bar. He's got to get the leg across the face. He's got to get the legs across the face to maintain the arm. And right now, he's got it, but he can't put a, the, the right amount of pressure on it. Trujillo wants to get himself out of the situation, but he's got it. There he goes. He's got the arm bent. He's fine now. But that just goes to show you how aggressive Nurmagomedov is off of his back with his submissions. Staying very busy on the bottom. Good butterflies by Nurmagomedov. Good use of the butterflies. Beautiful takedown. Nice trip. 
All technique, beautiful, smooth flowing by Nurmagomedov. Two-time Russian combat Sambo champion, two-time world Sambo champion. And Russian combat Sambo is uh, not just a grappling style, beautiful takedown. It's a, a style of almost a mixed martial arts with headgear and with a, a, a judo gi top. The uh, kimono top, but they throw leg kicks, punches, everything, submissions, and Nurmagomedov is a, a master at it. Tossing Trujillo around a little bit here in the first. Watch the fence. Don't, don't grab the fence. Two minutes on the clock. Don't Going grab for the a fence. ride. Takes him down again. Trujillo not liking this at all. Wants to separate. He's got a he's got a pummel under. One minute, 30 seconds, Abel. One minute. Notice how Trujillo locked to hold the uh, the leg with his butterfly hooks to keep from getting suplexed onto his head. But man, Nurmagomedov just ragged He's just here. relentless here. And it's all technique, Mike. I mean, he's obviously very strong as well, but his technique is stellar. He's always in the correct position. Note he never lets Trujillo get out of this spot where he's dominant. He's behind him, holding on to him. Throwing him around at will. Grab the fence. I'm gonna take a punch from you. Warned about grabbing the fence with Trujillo. Tripped him down again. Trujillo trying to roll out of it, but Nurmagomedov just countering every time Trujillo tries to get to a better spot. Nurmagomedov absolutely out grappling him. Look at that, though. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful Trujillo's roll by Trujillo. Top. He's got to look out. Nurmagomedov with a nasty guard here. Almost caught him in that the beginning. He's switching sides. Good wrist control, triangle, triangle by Nurmagomedov. Doesn't quite have it locked down. Now he does. He wants to get the right arm across the chest, but he can finish it from here. If he's got a good squeeze, he might be able to finish it from here, especially if he pulls the head. Pulling the head like this, yup, Trujillo rolled over. This could be it, folks. Looking to finish this fight. The only thing saving Trujillo right now is that his arms are separated, so it gives him a little bit of space on the right side of his neck where he can get blood. But Nurmagomedov is going to switch to an arm bar. He's switching to an arm bar on the right arm, spinning. Look for him to throw that left leg across the face. Looking for it still, late seconds of the round. Now he's fully got the triangle locked in. Wow, that was close. Trujillo survives, barely. Henry hoofed in the corner of Abel Trujillo you said, you ready? Let's start go. strong, hands up. Let's utilize some striking here early. Make him fight our fight. Well, Abel absolutely wants to avoid grappling with Nurmagomedov now. Nurmagomedov absolutely dominated him in that first round with his grappling. So now that Trujillo knows it, it's his job to keep the distance between the two of them and utilize what he believes is a superior striking skill. Initially, it was Trujillo who went for the takedown. Oh, man, nice left hook in there by, by Nurmagomedov. And again, look how Trujillo gets stuck here. Nurmagomedov spins behind him. Perfect positioning every time. Trips, gets him down. Oh, nice, oh, nice spin out by Trujillo. He's well got to take done. advantage of it, though. Good left hook by Trujillo. Trujillo trying to swing away He, now. he may have stunned Nurmagomedov. Big right hand. He reversed and escaped very well in that last exchange. And he did that earlier in the first round as well. He's great at exploding out from under the bottom. He's got to make sure. Oh, oh good right, right hand by Nurmagomedov. Caught him standing up as he moved forward. And Nurmagomedov closes the distance. He's got his hands clasped again, and again, spins behind him. He's just masterful at getting behind Trujillo. Trips him to the ground. Almost submitted him at the end of that first round. I mean, that was as close as you can get. Fully locked in triangle, and at the end, arm was across the face. It was only heart and will that kept Trujillo from tapping out. Some knees from Nurmagomedov. <laughs> Just constant pressure from the Russian. And that's that spin. 
That's how he keeps getting out of it, by rolling, and that time number Nurmagomedov didn't let him. Over under control with one hook. He's going for the body triangle. Flatten him out with the body triangle, and that is absolutely nasty. The body triangle, when you're when you're belly down like that, like that, that might be able to tap him just in and of itself. Doesn't quite have that right foot. Now he's let it go completely. But when you go for that body triangle, you gotta really have that right foot deep in where the ankle is underneath the knee as you close up the triangle portion of that hold. Trujillo back up, but not free. Whenever Nurmagomedov gets a hold of Trujillo, it becomes a grappling competition. And he's winning big time. He's just putting on a clinic. Nice punch. Nice uppercut as Trujillo tries to stand up. And Trujillo is just starting to look bewildered. He gets up and he gets thrown right back down, Joe. Yeah, he's absolutely getting dominated. And that was how he was able to roll out before. And this time he's mounted up. But look at that. Quick use of the butterfly hooks by Nurmagomedov. Good shot. And Nurmagomedov back to his feet in a matter of seconds. Just a smothering style of fighting by Nurmagomedov. And again, down to the ground again. This time he's on top. Now he's got Abel fully flattened out. Abel gets back up to his knees. Big right hand by Nurmagomedov. And Trujillo, man, he has got to get some offense going. There's just no space, no time and space in which to work. He's just being severely outgrappled. Under a minute on the clock in the second. This is looked a lot like round one. And this is what it looks like when you grapple with a two-time world Sambo champion. Again, takes him down. This has got to be exhausting for Trujillo as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely, because he's not only getting ragdolled, he's also carrying Nurmagomedov's weight. And every time Abel tries to move, Nurmagomedov just adjusts. It's masterful with his grappling. Final 10 seconds of round two. All Nurmagomedov once again. Watch as Nurmagomedov backs up, stops, and then plants his right hand on the chin of Abel Trujillo. Nurmagomedov just having his way there we go. Let's with go. Abel in his first two you rounds. Ready? Let's go, come on. Something needs to change for Abel Trujillo here. And Abel Trujillo's corner pleading with him to not give up. Henry Hoop just kept saying over and over again, don't give up, do not give up. Such a discouraging way to be dominated. The way that Nurmagomedov has ragdolled Trujillo for two rounds. Well, when a guy is better than you like that, you, you tend to go into a defensive <laughs> shell. And this is the, the problem Trujillo is having. Every time Nurmagomedov gets a hold of him, he drags him to the ground and beats him up. And Abel is just completely outclassed in this area of the game. Right. Total strikes advantage, Numero Medov. The control that has been the key yeah, to the success. See, Abel just put his hands up, but he was frustrated. He can't be frustrated. He's getting beat up. You know, I mean, it's not like Numero Medov's not doing something to him. He can't let that mental lapse happen. He's got to stay strong and find his his opening to explode and get back up to his feet. And for Nurmagomedov, he's just got to do what he's been doing, which is mauling Abel Trujillo. I mean, just ragdolling him here. This is like a, a black belt versus a blue belt. Man. He's handling him. Total control. Fully, look at that, belly down like that. I mean, Abel should be exploding to get out of this position. 
But at this point in the game, he, he might not have the energy to, to f see how he did that, put his hand up like, oh, man, what? You, you can't do that. It's not like the guy's not doing anything. He's kicking your ass. You can't even think like that. That's a mental weakness to even to even make that gesture, as if he's asking Mario Yamasaki to do something for him. He's got to do this for himself. That's one of the reasons why I hate stand-ups. It's clearly obvious that Nurmagomedov is doing this on purpose. He's controlling this fight. And if Abel wants this to change, he's got to do something about it himself. He can't, like, look at that. He can't, like, ask Mario Yamasaki to help him. He's getting mauled. A little bit of a spin there and then nothing, you know, and he, he gets to the point where he's on his back in guard, but he's not putting feet on the hips and kicking back. He's not hip escaping. He's not trying to stand back up. He's not going to half guard and using an underhook. He's, there's a reason why Henry Hoost is saying don't give up. It's because right. they're worried that he is. You hear Henry. He's trying to encourage him in yeah. any way he can, Joe, but... This is... He's nothing he's going to be able to do unless he gets his feet and can land a knockout blow. When you're dealing with this this much of a disparity in grappling skill... I'm going to send you guys out. There's Come not on. a lot you can do. Move. There's not a lot you can do. You're getting beat up. You're getting manhandled. And you just got to take your beating and then go back to the gym and understand that there's a, a lot in your game that can be improved. Nurmagomedov has landed 13 takedowns in this fight, second most in UFC history. See, Abel, like, 14. as Nurmagomedov's throwing him, Abel's throwing his arms up in the air, like, well, uh, come on, man. And this is a grappling clinic. And another. Over and over again, just mauling him. And this is against the uh, four-time NAIA All-American Collegiate Wrestler. Yeah, Nurmagomedov is really something special when it comes to grappling, though. Total control. And again, drags him down again. And clearly, Abel's gone into a defensive shell at this point. And he's, he's not trying to win this fight. He's not, he's not fighting. He's got to be exhausted, not just physically, yes. but mentally but as mentally, well. mentally, yeah. He's not fighting with massive desperation, and that's what he needs. He needs to, he needs to be fighting like his life is on the line here. He rolled out of that, tried to get, but look, number no better. Immediately clung back onto him, recognized the movement, recognized where he was going to be, and just jumped on him. Watch the fence, watch the fence. Final seconds of the fight. Why not? Beautiful throw. And Tree Hill back up to his feet again and down again. I mean, this is, that was a mauling. That's absolutely a clinic that we just displayed. Habib Nurmagomedov. Take a look at our move of the fight brought to you by Metro PCS. Wireless for all. Nurmagomedov just mauling Abel Trujillo every time he got a hold of him. It was the grappling, the combat sambo skills of Habib Nurmagomedov that really shined in this fight. Really a stellar performance by Habib. Don't forget, fans, we want to know what you think will be the best move of the night. Tweet and let us know at hashtag MetroMove. And tune into the UFC post-fight show on Fuel TV for the winning move. UFC 160 prelims on FX, live from Las Vegas are sponsored by Bud Light. Here we go. With the official decision of the Nurmagomedov Medoff Trujillo fight, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Khabib the Eagle, Nurmagomedov. 
He moves to 20 and 0 in his professional mixed martial arts career. What a clinic put on tonight by Habib Nurmagomedov.